hey! Today I'm very happy because you're about to watch a very special video about a very special guitar. Today's guitar is probably the most important guitar I've painted on so far because it's Matthias Ia Eklund's signature caparison. I painted on it last summer just before the Freak Guitar Camp 2023 and then I got to talk about my work there at the camp and it was a super duper cool experience. So I give you Lisa McTallion! <laughs> I have such wonderful memories of it. All the campers were really, really nice. And getting the feedback of such encouraging people was really great. In the end, Ia was delighted with his painted wolf, which filled my heart with joy and satisfaction. And for my greatest pleasure, he got to play it during the three different weeks of the Free Guitar Camp last year. And now you'll get to hear Lisa from the past and follow the process, which feels funny for me to watch a few months later. So I hope you will like it. Have a great watching! Today is the 30th of June and as I'm filming this video, I am super duper excited because today I just picked up a super important guitar. I borrowed this guitar from the mighty Matthias Ia Eklund. Thank you very much, Matthias. He really nicely asked me to paint on this particular guitar because it has a little problem. Let me show you the instrument. So here it is, the Caparison Apple Horn 8 strings. You maybe already know it. Matthias took the plane with it and the company did damage badly the guitar, just right there. And ever since it doesn't look as good as it was uh, before. So for today, the first step uh, will be to remove the strings, just right there. And then I will also remove the neck because I can do it on this guitar, so I will. Then, as usual, I will tape everything to protect the guitar before I do anything on it. Okay, now we are day two. We are uh, the 1st of July. As you can see, I began the work on the guitar. I removed the neck, as you can see, and I protected the pot there and the mics there. So I am now uh, pretty much done with the tape and the program for today will be to uh, draw the lines of the drawing on the guitar and then apply the undercoat. When I apply the undercoat I need to do two layers and I have to wait 24 hours between the two. So we will uh, make the first layer today. morning we did a first projection of the drawing on the guitar and now as you can see all the lines are there. The drawing needs some uh, adjustments and then I will put the first layer of the undercoat. Spectacular complexity You and me 
love the way you disarm me with impeccable accuracy. Okay, today it's day five. As you can see, I did well with the painting yesterday. I began with the yellow, and it's the only color that you see that will stay like this uh, in the future because the other colors are just undercoats for now. Yellows are colors that are not very covering. Sometimes it's quite difficult to have a good color, but I'm happy because uh, it looks great, I think. And I'm very happy because yesterday I worked really hard on the guitar and as you can see, it moves forward very fast. So that's good news. And today we will continue with the painting because obviously it's not over. the 5th of uh, July and it's day 6. As you can see I painted a lot on the guitar uh, the past uh, three days. I'm so very happy with the colors because I think they're just fantastic and I think that uh, there's a great balance uh, between yellow and orange. That's exactly what I wanted. Tomorrow on day 7 I will paint the colors that are missing right there, right there, for example. When I'm done with the painting, it will be time to do the borders. But until then, we have a little bit more painting work to do. So let's go. It's been a week since I picked up the guitar from Matthias and as you can see it changed a lot. The painting is now absolutely done. I'm very happy about it and I can't wait to see the result because we can't really see it without the borders so I can't wait. So that's the new step. There are a lot of borders on this uh, design. So it will take like a few days, I think. Then I think we can have a much better overview of the design because without the borders, it's difficult to see if it's good or if it's not. But you can trust me, I think it's good. <laughs> and here is Fluffy. <laughs> I wanna be the lucky idiot Please let me be the lucky idiot I need to be the lucky Today it's Saturday and it's the end of the week, yes! And as you can see, I worked hard yesterday, so I finished the painting and I began the black borders. I'm very, very happy with it and I'm impressed because I think it looks very good. Uh, this is not done. I just did the head and I did this one also and a little bit of this one. And I need to do this today and this today. Still a lot of work and I have energy to do it. So let's go! Okay, so after many hours of uh, working on the guitar, uh, on the painting and then on the borders, it's done! Yay! <laughs> ah, thank you. And now it's time to varnish it. And the varnishing is a pretty long process because it takes like two or three days or four days and then it needs to dry. So let's start right now. You don't know my name, but it does the same. Maybe I don't clean, but I am what you need. I am what you need. And yes, it's been quite a while because now the varnishing is finished. 
and it needed time to dry properly. So now it's completely dry and it looks great. I will remove the tape that is still there and then just after I will put the guitar back together because as you can see the guitar still miss uh, its neck and the neck is very important to play on the guitar so we have to, to put it back. Let's go back to work! And we did not record the assembling of the instrument, I am sorry. But no worries, everything went well and the guitar was properly set up before the beginning of the camp. Back to Lisa from the past, who is very happy about her drawing. Today is the end of the journey. It was such an amazing experience to do this with uh, Matthias' guitar. I really spent a lot of time on the design and I wanted it to be uh, the best possible on the guitar. Of course, you will see the photos we took with Jenny, uh, who is my partner in crime here in Sweden. Every time I finish a guitar, then we uh, photo shoot it together. I wanted to thank again Matthias because it's such an opportunity for me to uh, do this on his guitar. I'm really grateful about it. And I also wanted to thank Antoine because he helped me so much during the process, physically and mentally. Of course, next time I will draw on a guitar, I will record everything for you guys to see the work I do. For today, I think we are done. Thank you very much for watching this video until the end. I hope you liked it and I hope you like the guitar. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye. bye.